to the Gems with Men's Podcast. This is episode one. We about to get into it. Now, we had a hard time trying to figure out what we were going to say first because we had a video lined up, but we want to get into some stuff today. We just want to hit the ground running, all right? So go ahead, hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Let's get on the road. We got work to do. Now, as we watch this clip, I know we're really wondering what's the problem? What what what's going on? I don't understand what's about to happen. And I want you to pay close attention to the entire story surrounding him. There is a narrative that is being set a stage that is being set. And in, in, the, in the coming future, there's going to be a specific narrative that is going to be laid out. And that's why I have the problem. He's taking time away for an investigation, which is fine, but also for his mental health. Now, if you pay attention to the entire narrative that is already laid out there, you have Nike, who says, I'm glad that he's working on his mental health. Then you have him, his PR put out a statement that he's going to step away to get help. Help for what is my question. Does he not have a team around him? Does he not have an entourage? Is not his father constantly around him? See, the problem is not that he needs mental health. The problem is that he needs guidance. See, what we need to do as men is stop allowing narratives to be set to tell us we need help when we're searching for what it looks like to be us. We don't live in a world to where being you or being a man is actually okay. Is 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 actually not okay right now. So we need to know what that looks like. And the problem is he has a father who's around. But you saw when the Shannon Sharp uh, situation kicked off, his father was right in the mix, acting like he wanted to fight. Big old Shannon Sharp. But the problem is you take this young man, you give him a load of money, and then while he's trying to find himself as a young black man in this world, he gets engulfed into a culture that's around him. Y'all forget he plays in Memphis. It goes down in Memphis. The rest of you may not understand that, but I, I've been there once. Uh, and Once was enough. <laughs> and I didn't run into no trouble. They got great food out there, great barbecue, but it's it's a problem down there and you 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 don't want no problem in the hood but that's just what it is that's really just what it is and so while he's out there trying to find himself he's engulfed into the culture of which he sees but the problem is not that he needs help finding his culture the problem is he needs help knowing he don't need to be reaching there you're rich now you need to go i digress so so I, I I really have a problem with this narrative that's going on because it's the same thing they did to Kyrie. Kyrie was actually trying to find himself. He found out that he has ties with Native Americans, which most people of color in America has bloodline ties to Native Americans, but that's a research for you to do yourself. But as he's trying to find his culture, he finds another video that kind of also further explains his culture. So what he do? He just posts a link. Now he needs retraining. He needs retraining because the problem is anytime you try to connect with yourself and with who you are, there will always be a problem because you are not supposed to search it for yourself. They are supposed to tell you. And anytime you start looking into who you are as a man, but especially as a black man, 
there is a problem. You know, if you're dealing with the man as a whole, look at our look at our society. You're not supposed to be there for your family because, you know, a, a father is not necessary. Well, that's not true. Yes, it's absolutely true. This is why any time a woman has a problem with her husband or with her child's father, the first thing she needs to do for herself is take him to court. Unless she's smoking crack and feeding it to the kids, what's going to happen? They are going to give the children directly to the father. That's just how it goes down. I, I'm sorry to break the news. But what's happening is he's just trying to find himself and engulf himself into the culture and not only in which he's around, but which is also embedded into the NBA today. Let's be 100% hip hop, basketball, one. There's no separation. So that's a part of the hip hop culture, what he's doing. Now, that last video that we say is the Achilles heels to destroying his career, it's a video of someone partying and just enjoying the life of a black NBA star for at least two generations, three generations of basketball players. Basketball players have done things that engulfs themselves into the culture. Y'all remember Kobe put out a rap album. Shaq put out a rap album. Uh, Damian Lillard currently is a rapper <laughs> while a basketball player. Hold on, I got another one for y'all. Watch this video. Let's get back to it. Now, I know I cut the audio out of that video. And, you know, thank, thank you to AI3TV for recording that video. So go to that channel, watch the whole interview, and ask yourself, how soon do we forget about the AIs who wanted to incorporate who he was and his culture into his image, right? But he didn't need it mental health uh protocol we forgot about the dennis robin he didn't need mental health protocol he performed and and did what he was supposed to do and he brought in the money and so nobody cared he was just a show right oh we forgot about about mj who used to party and gamble and hustle people in the in locker rooms and stuff like that Oh, but he kept quiet and he didn't speak about major issues. So we cool with MJ, right? And and and, and I'm not trying to point fingers back at nobody else. We're not going to talk about who Charles Barkley was when in his playing days. When you know, we forget about Agent Zero, Gilbert Arenas, and you know they asked him to speak on it. But we forget these things that are not long forgotten. But it always seems like when it involves a basketball player of color with superstar, uh, not aspirations, because he's already a superstar, they want to control the narrative. So Kyrie needed to get retrained, right? He needed sensitivity training because he wants to find out who he is and engulf himself into that culture. Anytime he wants to speak for people He's a problem, right? And, and, and this is craziness. So now this kid needs mental help. 
uh, and take care of his well-being simply because the men around him allowed him to fail. And that's really what it is. The problem, and I'm going to say this again, I'm probably going to say this in other videos about other things, but the problem is they want to control the narrative of who you become. You're not supposed to do that. You remember they made AI a big problem too. AI was a big problem. They couldn't stand it. He wouldn't wear a suit. They find him and find him. Then they try to bring up the whole, he didn't go to practice, which became iconic, ironically, right? But all of that happened and he still didn't get help because he was just finding himself. He was being who he was. And John Moran, the problem with John Moran, especially when we know his father is close in his corner, is that the men around him are failing him the ones that look like him and the people who are tagging along for the free ride and partying and hanging out with him and not saying, hey, bro, not the look. But he's young. This is what happens when you give a young man who's just starting to live his life for himself a load of money. And now... He's out here enjoying his life, living his best life the best way he knows how. And I'm not justifying it. But he probably doing, see, the difference between this generation and the ones that were before them is that they love to go live on everything they do. Young men, listen, don't go live. We know y'all going to live your life. Don't go live. But the men that are older than him, around him, we need to step up. And then guess what? There's a lot of fathers like John Moran's father who seem to still be figuring it out along the way. And if that's the truth, where are our 60, 70 year old men? And I get it. The problem is they're tired because ain't nobody listening. We not listening. It, 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 it's, it's sickening. Everybody got the answers, but nobody wants to share and help one another. And so when we start talking about the availability of men, this is where we need to be available. Pops, you need to be available to Jai because he's, he's going left. You need to rail him. See, if you would have railed his coattail in when he was younger, every time you spoke, he would sit down to listen. Because you transition from disciplinarian into mentor instead of into friendship. Men, we can't transition from disciplinarian into friendship. We need to become a mentor to our sons. We need to become the first love to our daughters and the best friends to our wives. Like, where, where are we missing the mark at? And this is where our community needs us. We need to renormalize manhood. It's very important. And it's killing this man right in front of us. And now we have given the baton to a bunch of uh, ish and YT people who are going to now be the ones who mold him and shape him to being in their image. And now we watch his family continue a cycle of confusion. And this wasn't supposed to be no type of black empowerment. This is all about men and manhood. And, and, and some things are not a mental health issue. Some things are just a mindset issue. Some things is just an information issue. It's not okay. No, you can't be out here doing what these rappers are doing because these rappers are dying, Ja. You know? But let's not get out here and pretend like he's the first one to try to grab hold of his culture and bring it into what he does. We forgot Kobe Bryant had a rap album. Shaq went platinum as a rapper. We forgot Damian Lillard is a rapper right now. He's putting out albums right now. And what are we doing? 
So I just really want y'all to get the the support you need. It's not necessarily the mental help you need, but it's the support you need, the mentors, the guides, someone that says this is what you're going to face. This is what you need to stay away from. And this is what life looks like. I grant it. The generations that are coming up are going to come up different than the generation that is here now. And that's just the cycle of life. But how to navigate through life struggles, you can only get from people who live through life struggles. The struggles are the same. The opportunities might be different in and the things that we have at our fingertips might be different, but the struggles are the same. So I just want to first say thank y'all for joining our first episode of the Available Man podcast. And I love you. I can't wait to see you again. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification so you can be notified when we drop another video because we're going to try to drop these every week. All right. And now I got another week to work on the actual video I wanted to present. So stay with us. All right. Grab some merch. Link in the description. Love.